Hi guys, welcome to another video. We did certainly thought that the market is gonna break away and probably we're gonna be seeing a downside but quickly we did have that good upside coming into the markets the fed never spoke yesterday which was a plus sign and maybe i hope they don't give a very very statement today either things are looking very very good we've had that bounce that we certainly did want to see in this market coming and we can look into the bright side that the market has again bounced from that cycle bottom where we were sitting just yesterday and now we're just out of the, that certain range but we are still very close anything is always open and anything is always possible in these markets so we got to have an open mind but we have to be happy that the market did show us that bounce so we get into today's details starting with our up hourly uptrend we can see that we did go down all to the levels of 28,656 then we had a quick bounce a quick upside coming into the markets and now we're facing resistance from the downtrend line that I had updated yesterday so that is something very very important we also have a collision going on here between the uptrend and the downtrend line so if we do break above will be very interesting to see but we do expect that the market structure right now has gone into a higher high and now then suddenly we're going to be making a lower high this was probably a lower low because we had broken the price structure of our previous highs especially on the hourly especially on the four hours so things are very different from what they were yesterday now we get into dxy get an update what was happening here in the last few hours we can see that we did dump and now we're coming back into the support line which we have done previously as well so it still remains in a good higher structure we're still in a making a higher low but overall it certainly does look very very bearish compared to what it was if we get into higher time frames this whole pattern is now turning into a head and shoulders so we can break down and if we do break down we can come back in the regions of 101 to 100 that would be interesting to see if the market actually decides to make a move like that we would actually get very very happy because then we will be pulling ourselves away from the inflation that we have been seeing in the market the money being sucked out by the fed will be gradually slowly that the FUD will at least pass away if we get into usdt's dominance very similar pattern here we are into that range we have broken below now we're just below six percent we are trading right now at 5.96 interesting to see we did see that quick upside and then now we are seeing that downtrend where we can see that the market has pulled itself up so that is an interesting thing that's happening right now in the markets i am certainly very very happy that we saw a quick upside coming in the market because obviously a lot of people do judge that cycle bottom and top line that i've created and people be like whoa 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 we're getting very close to this one are, are we gonna break it now are we gonna break it now so whenever we do pump from there i can't feel a very good relief that okay whatever i'm thinking whatever i'm charting is actually getting right here if we get into bitcoin's dominance we certainly did want to break above we have broken above on the four hourly now making support on the line which is at 14.45.18 percent so right now just trading in the regions of 45.21 percent looks very very good and the next line is up there the next target has to be about 46.45 percent if we do get into that that would be very very good because that will just give us a confirmation and if the price starts moving up or just laterizes in this region then we could suddenly say that now the bitcoin's dominant cycle has moved into phase three that is where we want to accumulate all coins that's the reason i'm going to be monitoring whole weekend if i do see a good upside or lat rising movement coming and an upside coming in bitcoin's dominance then probably we are going to share some charts of all coins as well on monday with you guys now if we get in back into btc like i said it gives me relief every time we bounce from this line this is going to be like first second third fourth fifth sixth so this is like a sixth bounce right now coming into the market overall we do expect to regain these levels i had drawn this for past several weeks now we would ideally want to look into this place and have a quick upside and then we probably dump we still haven't had that money coming to the markets a lot of data that was shared by coinbase and arkin research already shows that the market is now pulling away from the retail about 70 percent people right now getting into the markets are just institutions so that is interesting now we get into the bubbles bubbles look very very green thankfully it's not as red as we are usually seeing every day on the dailies so looks very very good knc is about 24 percent gmt is about 10 percent a lot of coins have been doing pretty well usd terra fund is still in the market and obviously news wants to have some kind of headlines so they have a free bug going on right now when it comes to terra chain so luna is about 3.3 percent whether it's up or not it's uh, there's nothing much to talk about there because it's, it used to be at 80s and now it's just below 
uh, even one cent so that is just this absolutely crazy stuff that went wrong here AVAX is down in one hours we have quite a mix back some are still green and some are red so things are pretty mixed up right now but mostly the major players right now in the market are experiencing a pullback which is okay we pumped all day yesterday so it's okay to have some kind of short pullback coming but obviously today's friday we don't want to have bears capturing the options expiry now we get into the big data we are on 13 level yesterday we were at 13 remains 13 today extreme fear in the markets long and short ratio global data 51.24 percent people are in long positions in 24 hours while 50.3 percent are in long positions and 49.7 percent are in short positions in one hour so looks very very even things have neutralized after we saw that quick upside even if you look into long and short ratio block rates 52.13 percent people are in long positions in 24 hours and 56.34 percent people are in long positions and 43.66 percent people are in short positions in one hour in block trades so still here we have a lot of long positions open right now probably that's the reason we're seeing short pullbacks coming into the market ideally we want would want to break above the levels we have just shown you guys especially on the hourly trends that will make things very very good now we get in the market sentiment for btc and eth neutral and if we get into the funding rate btc exactly where we want to have 0.0100 percent while ETH is just a bit bit higher side but it's okay we can see there's a lot of long positions open right now a lot of people are feeling bullish so ideally if we do see a correction happening very quickly this should come back to 0.0100 percent too so if that happens we will be in a very very neutral market that's what we would ideally want to have we are expecting something good to be coming this weekend this weekend might just end up being very very important now we get newly listed a lot of action is happening in newly listed project galaxy is up about 15 percent plateau farm is up about 22 percent uh, a lot of other coins are performing really well as well mobile coin is up about 13 percent 11 percent on epx epx did went up very very high so things are good here as well still pumping that's the reason i told you guys hold some bag of it once you have taken out profits or you have taken out your capital depends up to you it's your financial decision to make yourself lunar token is up about six percent so a lot of coins are performing really well in the newly listed good to see when the market is pumping and having some kind of upside we're seeing movement here even when the market is down we do see a lot of movement coming here so all the coins that you did buy and you want to just hold and earn on them you can always go on earn daily or lock earn so you mostly find them in lock earn and it goes about 14 days seven days you can decide yourself you can get step g step g is down about two percent right now Brawl blockchain is there, KNT, ESG, Undead, Milo, Wallet. So there's plenty of coins. All you have to do is get in here, stake your coins, earn some rewards while they're sitting. Don't waste your bags. It's sitting in your wallet. You can actually earn on them as well. So why not take this opportunity and earn and hold and earn on Gate.io? If you want to get into Gate.io, all you have to do is click in the link given in the description below. Join Gate.io, use my referral code or referral ID. This is going to help you get into gate.io earn rewards airdrops and obviously you can be very very happy because we're in a bear market and in a bear market if you get something free certainly that would make you very very happy let's get into the news so the first news we're going to be sharing today is u.s jobless claims rise to 218,000 last week estimated was 200,000. so definitely the numbers are fluctuating here look very very serious situation coming in Yesterday, Yellen said we're not in a recession, but inflation is a risk. I think she really, really need to get back into the drawing board. So if you look into this one, looks very, very interesting. A lot of numbers. The difference between the numbers is pretty, pretty high. So that is interesting how they're going to control this and what is the Fed going to be saying about this next. If we get into central bankers are becoming Bitcoiners. History is being made in El Salvador. It's one of the best things, best site to have in this market where we're seeing all these bankers are now getting towards Bitcoin. Bitcoin adoption is definitely going to be booming in the next few months to come. Luxury watchmaker tag here now accepts Bitcoin for online purchases. Very, very exciting news. That is the meaning that everybody now should have a very good watch if you own Bitcoin too. And MicroStrategy CFO, the new CFO just hired. There are no scenarios where a company would sell Bitcoin. And that's what we want to hear from them because everybody loves Michael Saylor. Some people hate him too. Some people don't like this or that. But for me, I, I am really, really excited 
to know that he has said that and his company statement has come down the next news is bitcoin argentina will launch a bitcoin education project at 40 schools across the country they're going to be including bitcoin education into their curriculum this is very very exciting we're going to be having young young bitcoiners coming into the world now so that is exciting when we came into this market there were no courses there was nothing been thought about this in school uni or even colleges so interesting to see there's a lot more coming for the new kids in the world they are i'm very excited about this one too next up the biggest news right now ethereum core developers says the merge of proof of stake might happen as early as august so this is very very exciting there's been a lot of delays in e 2.0 this that we are getting very very close to it the merge is very very soon hopefully this is just not a date being given to the us and things do move forward in this direction. That's what that's what we would ideally want to see, and not just what Vitalik always says is gonna happen this, or happen that, but never really shows up. So we're gonna be waiting till August and hope that things do happen by then. Now, if we get in back into our charts, we are in a falling channel now. We are consolidating in this line. Bearish worst case scenario did come from here. We are hoping that we do come and at least test this zone. But let's see, it is a resistance for us right now because we're going to be going up and testing because we dumped from there. Will be interesting whether we'll be able to break this or not. Because ETH just announced the merge, things might look very, very interesting for ETH. We are experiencing the same scenario right now for ETH as we are in bullish bearish chart for BTC. It's interesting to see things are pretty similar here. We would really want to see some retests coming of this again if not then there's a likely chance that we will come to our worst case scenario we are waiting for both the scenarios market is very very sideways but it's okay it's either gonna pump it's gonna dump or it's gonna be sideways so this is our third option we might need a yellow color candle for those when the market actually goes sideways but we certainly don't have that because obviously these candles came out back in the heydays in 1900s so we just have been following whatever we were taught maybe we need some kind of addition that's just gonna make the markets a lot easier to see but having said all of that if we look into the market still looks okay we are in that range we are having that relief really bounce that we would want we don't want to dump even if we look into this we are making a very good uptrend right now but we are failing to make higher highs we would really want to see a good higher high coming that's the similar situation we were facing here as well and the biggest reason right now in the market this volume has disappeared like i've said retail is out of this market so a lot of interesting thing going on right now in the markets we are seeing upside downside part coming part going away so a lot of things are going on it's gonna be a very very interesting weekend so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm gonna be back in here again tomorrow with an interesting nft show so see you guys then bye bye and have a great weekend